Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, the place where tens of thousands of North Koreans gathered to show support for their leader Kim Jong-un and their anger at America's leader Donald Trump. Who the hell is Trump to talk about the collapse of our government? We are resolved to settle our differences with the US by military force if war breaks out. America in turn has demonstrated its strength and its own offensive options. The US Air Force flying bombers and fighter jets over waters east of North Korea. The closest they've flown to the country this century, said the Pentagon, it shows how seriously America is taking what they've called North Korea's reckless behavior. Its increasingly antagonistic words and frequent missile tests have made many uneasy. But there's been no sign of North Korea hoping to placate or appease any escalating tension. Their foreign minister pulling no punches in a speech to the UN saying Donald Trump was mentally deranged and on a suicide mission. The absurd reality is that a person like Trump, a mentally deranged person, a gambler who uses threats, fraud and schemes, has his hand on the nuclear button. This is the greatest threat to international peace and security. Donald Trump has said North Korea would pay dearly for its hostile behavior. America, he said, would totally destroy the country if it was ever forced to defend itself. Andrew Plant, BBC News.